Buenas noches, mi gente. Uh, Dios mío. Thank you for being here today, friends, family, community from near and far. Education changes lives. And in my life, in my family, I'm not the first one to graduate from college. Not my brother in the audience is the first one to graduate from college. It is actually our mom, Luz Angela, light angel in English. My mom lost her mom to breast cancer at the age of 15. And with every obstacle imaginable, she finished her college by graduating with a bacteriologist degree. She also made sure that her younger siblings graduated with their dentist degree, like Dr. Ortiz. I want to congratulate the man of the year. What an honor it has been to learn about your journey and your life, always with a smile, the best smile. Thank you for your service. Ni de aquí, ni de allá, but we found a place in Tampa. Mil bendiciones, Ray, para ti y para tu familia. From my mom, I learned to be a woman, a mother, and the power of education. From my dad, I learned to give back in the power of media. My dad is a really big influence in our family. He was an entrepreneur, and when he immigrated, he saw the really big need of Spanish language to inform our community. He pioneered with really big names the Spanish language radio in Miami in the 80s. He knows I'm talking about him. The influence comes full circle with my 20-year career in media and both grandkids in their morning show, they're both of their own kids in their morning show, and Luca is on his second year, and he loves it. Watch out, Bay News 9, here comes Luca and Sofia. <laughs> the Botero Leal family, like many of you, has had to get comfortable at being uncomfortable, and we know that change is the only constant thing in life. It was 1994. After the death of the biggest drug lord in Colombia, Medellin was a very difficult place to be. And dad was already in the United States, and mom decided to leave Colombia. At this time, we weren't coming to see Miki. We weren't coming on a Christmas break. We were calling Miami home, and I was 15 years old. One day, Sofia Luna asked me about my childhood toys. Her dad has all the Star Wars, and the baseball, and the blankets. Grandma Tony saved everything. I love you, Grandma. Thank you for raising the most amazing gentleman that I got to marry. So when Sofia asked me about my things, I had to explain with her that when we leave, we have to fit all of our lives into a backpack. We came with very little material things, but a really big dream to succeed. We became Hispanic in February 16, 1994. Mami, gracias por todas las lecciones, por sacarnos adelante. Soy la mujer, la mamá, la persona por toda tu influencia. Padrecito, gracias por todo tu amor y por ser un papá tan presente en nuestras vidas. Tú abriste el camino en la radio, en español, para que tengamos la voz que tenemos los latinos. Los admiro y los quiero a los dos. So we're in Miami. Thank you. Te adoro, los adoro. So we're in Miami, and my brother comes to me with a vision of going to the university. With the influence of our mother, we wanted to be professional, and we collected the little bit of money that we had, and he took a, a bus to Gainesville and picked up the paperwork to apply for the University of Florida. There was no internet back then, but we knew that was our ticket to independence. Thank you, Juan, for being a visionary and a beacon of life in our life. Te adoro, mi hermanito. At UF, I meet the love of my life. And for the past 20 years, we've been living our best life, growing, enjoying. My husband, Derek Paul, love it. Pablo Jimenez in Spanish, because can you imagine yelling Derek in Medellin, Colombia? 
That wouldn't go very well. Pedro Jimenez in Spanish. <laughs> He's the one that listens to all my cantaleta, the best dad to our kids, our protector. With the support, I'm able to do what I can do with the community. Thank you, love, for choosing us every day. In sickness and in health, till death do us part, te amo, mi amor. So, we are ready to find our new home and move from Gainesville. So, we grab a map. Again, no internet, right? And Derek mentions a city, Ybor City, a, a town with Spaniard, Italian, Cuban, American influence. And Tampa becomes our home in, 20, in 2003. We have seen Stanley Cups, we've seen Super Bowls, USF soccer. We love Tampa Bay. Univision gives me the first opportunity to learn about the market and the consumption and the data. At Bright House, I broaden my reach and marketing to the skills to the general market, but I'm always a source of service to the Hispanic community by being a media expert. In 2010, our lives changed and we became parents. I remember being in the delivery room and yelling at Derek as he was filling out the birth certificate, make sure he has both last names. <laughs> His name is Luca Antonio Lovett Botero. And a year later, we were blessed with Sofia Luna Lovett Botero. Change is always co constant and I became a stay at home mom. The best years creating the foundation for our family. So little and so many memories. Once the kids were old enough to go to school, I started consulting with my dear friend at Pilar Ortiz Enterprises. We traveled all over the, the, the world, you know, the country with the National Speaker Association, contando una historia bien contada. Spectrum gives me the opportunity to be a bilingual account executive in a top market like Tampa. I am constantly impressed of how the company continues to evolve and use data to reach people. In my journey with Spectrum, I focus in the multicultural community. I've led research and marketing efforts in the Tampa and in the Orlando markets. We understand what it takes to maintain the loyal and growing Hispanic community. Thank you to the Spectrum family for your support. I also support a lot of organizations in our community. And there's one that's very special to my heart. It's the Hispanic Professional Women Association. HPWA is an association that focuses all of their efforts to raising funds for Hispanic women to continue their education. Co-founded by Margarita Gonzalez, we have poured our heart and soul into this organization, together with sisters like Nelsie, Diana, Melissa, Yvonne, and the hardworking board of directors. You might know what I did for the organization, but let me share with you what the organization did for me. I found a place with a purpose, a place where I can make a difference a place where queens fix each other's crowns without even know they were crooked. Marines and Maria Jose are our current leaders of the organization and they have their annual tea party on November 4th. So let's make sure that we support them. My latest venture is the Latin Community Advisory Council at the University of South Florida. Go Bulls! <laughs> a powerhouse team of Hispanic leaders who advises President Law in issues regarding the Hispanic community. Another area where there's another, a lot of change, there's a lot of work to be done, and we're here to do it. Right, guys? This opportunity of being the Hispanic Woman of the Year will be forever in our heart. Throwing the first pitch at the Roberto Clemente game, the Tesla coil at the Lightning game, celebrating all the Hispanic heritage festivities, representing and honoring our heritage was a very rewarding experience that my family and I will always have in our hearts. The media tour and the support by the community was massive. 
I have very much respect for live television and for journalists. Whew, that was a lot. <laughs> Thank you to Maribel and to Maria and the board of directors for all your hard work. It also gave me the opportunity to connect with many of you. And we understand that we're very different. Pero en la unión está la fuerza. Together, we're stronger. My invitation is for us to unite efforts to support these organizations that donate to education and that make a difference. The opposite of unhappiness is not happiness. The opposite of unhappiness is community. I'll let you simmer on that one. We know where we come from, and you cho we choose to come to the United States for a better future. I'm personally very grateful for the opportunities and experiences this beautiful country has given me and my family. It is with a lot of honor and respect that I stand in front of you in the shoulders of my ancestors, my family, my mentors that have paved the way to celebrate our heritage, our culture, and our language. Mi nombre es Catalina Botero Lobel Leal Salazar Jimenez Anzola Gutierrez, and I'm here to celebrate all of you. God bless you and God bless the USA.